Welcome to this week's edition of Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Chi Chen Lo. For many countries, movie industry is not only a money-making industry, but also a very important cultural industry. However, in the face of the Hollywood movies, many countries have difficulties in helping their movie industries to survive and thrive. So how's the situation in Taiwan? In today's program, we are very delighted to invite Lisa Wang to come to our program. She's a very famous movie critic in Taiwan. Lisa, welcome to our program. Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa. Lisa, I know you've been a very professional interpreter, but now you're also a very famous movie critic. As a matter of fact, you've been a long-time movie critic. Is it tough to be a movie critic? Oh, I've been uh, in this business even longer than I was an uh, interpreter. That's so right. actually, it's been so long, and uh, you, you tend to forget about yeah. how you begun the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, well, it's not as uh, difficult as people would think, because yeah. uh, you, know, you love movies. Mm -hmm. That's why you got into the business. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know, it's uh, already two decades. Mm -hmm. You know, like um, just the snap of the fingers. So <laughs> it's uh, really uh, not that hard. But, mm. you know, the movie industry is uh, a different kind of industry, just mm -hmm. like uh, what you said before, mm. that it's a cultural related mm -hmm. uh, industry. So you, you got to know the uh, ins and outs yeah. of that industry. Mm -hmm. And it's both in manufacturing. Mm -hmm. as well as a service industry. That's why it takes some time. Yeah, but to be a critic, you must be very, uh, 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 very involved in some of the uh, process. You have to know the process of making a movie. And do you train yourself or you do, do you uh, study uh, anything related to movies? Uh, actually, you uh, tend to study on your own, mm -hmm. not necessarily going into a uh, film school yeah okay uh, I love to call them movies instead of films yeah you know like the Europeans do because uh, <laughs> movies in the American language is more of the so-called moving kind of uh, no, right. word you know for the uh, industry uh, and uh, even without the uh, formal uh, so-called school training. Mm -hmm. You got to uh, learn about the movies right. through uh, knowing all the uh, industry-related mm -hmm. issues, uh, like the process that you make a movie mm -hmm. with. And then, uh, of course, the storytelling mm -hmm. is the uh, most basic yeah. element in That's all right. kinds of uh, you know, uh, movie critique. Mm -hmm. And so it, you tend to get better when you uh, write more about it, yeah. and when you watch more movies. Mm -hmm. I know it's fun to watch a movie, but it's another thing to study, mm -hmm. to research, research a movie and try to write a critic. What's the big difference between the two, watching a movie and yeah. writing and studying a movie? Okay, uh, watching a movie, that's a moviegoer's job. That's okay, right. that's very uh, preliminary. And then uh, writing critiques about it is somehow a guideline. Mm -hmm. for all the audience, mm -hmm. you know, if they uh, tend to choose uh, if they want to go to a movie based yeah. on your critique, mm -hmm. your re reviews. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's a different process, but I think movies these days mm -hmm. actually uh, grow closer mm -hmm. to the audience, to the moviegoers than yeah. before. Mm -hmm. You know, you find the movie making as a technology mm -hmm. uh, before that, um, you know, you really have to study very hard to understand. Mm -hmm. But these days you find, especially in Taiwan, yeah. you know, a documentary mm -hmm. movie making yeah. is uh, largely affecting. Yeah. You know, the uh, movie making, even for drama mm -hmm. or other genres these yeah. days. So it's getting uh, to be really close mm -hmm. to the uh, moviegoers, right. you know, compared to uh, like a decade or two decades ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. But some people say that uh, watching movies is a very personal thing. In other words, for some people, this movie might be very interesting, but for others, it's very boring. Mm -hmm. So is there really any objective way of watching a movie? Okay, uh, you know, the fun thing about it is that be it boring or interesting, uh, you spend the time and yeah. moviegoers talk about them mm -hmm. after uh, they see the movies. That's right. So actually, moviegoing is a very uh, interesting 
experience per se, mm -hmm. okay? Like uh, when you take a roller coaster ride, mm -hmm. that's uh, what they're selling experience these yeah, days, that's right. okay? So uh, you find it to be really fun to talk about movies. Mm -hmm. Either you hate it or you love it. Yeah. Uh, you've uh, spent the time and money on mm -hmm. that kind of experience, mm -hmm. on that ride yeah. per se. So. I would say that, <laughs> you know, these days, hate it or love it, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, at least you care about it. That's right. Okay? And uh, that's what the uh, movie studios mm -hmm. want you to do. That's right. Okay? Uh, hate it or <laughs> love it, uh, the least thing they want is uh, for anybody not to see it. So that's right. if you go to see the movies as a moviegoer, hate it or love it, they will appreciate your you know, donation to the movie <laughs> industry. That's right. But sometimes right. <laughs> uh, maybe one movie gets a very low uh, review, but the box office is skyrocketing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, uh, time, right? you know, Transformers uh, last year. Yeah, last that's year. a worldwide phenomenon. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, it's a, a very traditional, uh, what we call uh, pop popcorn movie <laughs> so it, it's just go uh, there relax yeah yeah it. but i would say that that's the uh, epitome of uh, hollywood mm -hmm. movie making yeah. you know if you talk about people like spielberg mm -hmm. if you uh, talk about you know traditional hollywood blockbusters mm -hmm. then transformers is something you'll go for yeah. but you know for another group of people who even go into that movie yeah. will really not appreciate that experience that mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. okay so uh, you may find the reviews not to be so good, <laughs> yeah, that's right. but still, it, uh, you know, box office number is uh, staggering. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right. But as a, a movie critic, I think you must uh, antagonize some of the movie producers or even the, uh, you know, uh, agents and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, in, interesting thing is that. Uh, whenever a studio, you know, the kind of studio people, they wait by a uh, doorway <laughs> and they wait for you to come out after a sneak preview and then they'll ask you, how do you like the movie? Uh -huh. Um, for the movies that you really don't like, <laughs> you tend to say, well, it's interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? Which means, okay. Which means, well, don't ask me anymore <laughs> about that movie. Uh, but, um, you know, one in ten movies probably you will really like, mm -hmm. and then it will make up for the rest of them. So yeah. I think it's uh, quite a balance. Did, mm -hmm. did you feel any pressures, you know, when you're writing a critic of movies? Um, you do sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, especially these days. I find uh, the job of a film reviewer yeah. to be somewhat um, challenging because mm -hmm. you tend to uh, not want to uh, lag behind the mm -hmm. moviegoers, yeah. you know. Uh, with movies uh, like Born Ultimatum last year, mm -hmm. it's uh, such a uh, particular experience yeah. that moviegoers give the uh, movie very good review yeah. among themselves. So they kind of sell the movie on, based on word of mouth mm -hmm. okay, around the world. Yeah. So uh, when the uh, movie reviewers mm. don't see the same thing as the moviegoers do, mm. then um, you know, he or she will be lagging behind. Yeah. That's uh, somewhat the same case with the uh, uh, movie industry because mm -hmm. uh, the marketeering people for the movie mm -hmm. uh, isn't that good, yeah. you know, so they uh, fell somewhat behind the mm -hmm. moviegoers. So I think in the future it will even be more challenging, mm -hmm. you know, as uh, it comes to movie uh, reviewing. Yeah, that's right. And uh, well, uh, to so, me, the more challenge, the better. So there will be more non professional, uh, you know, movie reviewers and right. they will feedback. Mm -hmm and to other, you know, moviegoers. Right. So that job becomes more popular and not the job, but in yeah. terms of movie reviews. And uh, also there's one, uh, you know, um, uh, one thing that's really causing some concern mm -hmm. these days mm -hmm. is that uh, especially local marketing people would kind of hire you know, ah, the non-professional uh, <laughs> reviewers, yeah. they call them hitmen, hitmen. <laughs> right? And then they will give out reviews, uh -huh. uh, you know, paid reviews to say some good things mm -hmm. about a certain movie that's going to be out yeah. in uh, one or two months. Yeah. So uh, I find it hard to tell which is which. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, moviegoers, if you go online, 
probably you'll go into that kind of trap. I see. And uh, you'll probably see reviews mm -hmm. and read reviews that's really uh, done and paid for mm -hmm. by the studios yeah. instead of their own independent mm -hmm. Uh, opinions and views mm -hmm. about the movie. You must have a lot of chance to, to watch TV, uh, watch you know, uh, movies for free, right? And for, for free, for right. free, that's <laughs> for right. Free. But apparently, uh, I don't know whether some people understood that that is a job to be a very professional. Uh, movie reviewers. Yeah, movie reviewers these days don't really uh, make that much. That's right. You know, compared to the old time, because in the uh, old paradigm, actually, uh, the newspaper pay for their reviewers yeah. uh, any writing, mm. and then uh, even the studios pay for their transportation. <laughs> okay, not only do you watch a movie for free, mm. but you actually make some money out yeah. of it yeah. okay but these days um, probably going to a movie for free that's the only uh, bonus these <laughs> days to have for, you know the job of a critic uh -huh. so it's changed a lot mm -hmm. I think that in the future with the uh, advent of uh, uh, internet technology mm -hmm. it will probably even get uh, more drastic mm -hmm. in the world of movie reviewing mm -hmm. and people would probably rely more mm -hmm. on the uh, people who write on internet instead mm -hmm. of the major uh, media mm -hmm. that uh, probably uh, were more important in the past but yeah. these days uh, as you know the movie goers um, you know, for somewhere between the range of the mm -hmm. age of uh, under 25. Mm -hmm. So these are the internet people. Yeah. And uh, in the future, I think there will still be some change yeah. to the uh, uh, so-called movie reviewing mm -hmm. world. But yeah. writing a, a movie review is a very professional thing, as a mm -hmm. matter of fact. And what do you think makes a good uh, movie critic? I think uh, you've got to be independent. Mm -hmm. That's. Uh, um, you know, a must, and then uh, you uh, probably have to be really balanced. Mm -hmm. You know, even for the uh, movies that you don't like that much, you can see some merits I see. in it. You know, either in uh, form or mm -hmm. content, because mm -hmm. you know you tend to break it down by these two: form yeah. or content. And uh, the two movies that I talked about, Transformers, it's uh, uh, definitely a form kind of movie. Mm -hmm. uh, popcorn movie yeah. that you go there and not to use your brain <laughs> for <laughs> the next uh, two hours or so yeah. and have fun right and uh, Born Ultimatum on the other hand mm -hmm. is very very much a content yeah. and also a storytelling kind of movie mm -hmm. so there will be all kinds of different movies in the market in yeah. the you know near future and they will be exciting mm -hmm. I think <laughs> and for some people uh, you know movie is nothing but uh, entertainment Mm -hmm. But for others, it's art. Mm -hmm. you know? How do you balance the two? Well, uh, movies got to be uh, entertaining enough yeah. to be art. That's so right. uh, actually, uh, you can use this analogy like, uh, you know, bee wax mm -hmm. and uh, honey. Yeah. You know, entertaining part is the honey part, yeah. and then the you know the uh, so-called art or education part of it is mm -hmm. what we call bee wax. Right. So you know, it's like the two uh, products mm -hmm. you know, made by a bee. That's so right. you, you got to have a good balance between the two, mm -hmm. the wax and the honey, to mm -hmm. have a good movie. How how do you see the uh, you know viewers in Taiwan? Are they different or so different from other countries' viewers? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some people call us uh, the overseas market for the mm -hmm. uh, North American uh -huh. <laughs> movie market. So um, normally, whatever sells in um, North America, uh -huh. okay, would definitely sell in Taiwan. Oh, really? Normally, that's the case, and you know, almost ninety-five percent <laughs> of all the movies shown in Taiwan uh, Hollywood are movies. Hollywood movies. Any other so. European uh, films in Taiwan? Oh, they do have more and more European films, but the movies uh, from Europe uh, is faced with two uh, facet uh, problem. Mm. One thing is the distribution system is very weak mm -hmm. in Taiwan for those movies, mm -hmm. even for Taiwanese movies. Yeah. Okay. And second thing is that uh, people tend to get used to Hollywood productions, yeah. so they uh, ignore them. 
-hmm. You know, even if they uh, see them in the distribution, yeah. they would probably not go to uh, the movie if they have a choice. That's right. Mm -hmm. And apparently, Hollywood movies has a very strong distribution system and also very resourceful right. production uh, uh, team as well. Mm -hmm. So, in comparison, do you think that uh, it's you know, unstoppable to, to have more Hollywood movies in Taiwan and our local TV movie station, movies yeah. just cannot survive? Yeah, uh, I think so. There will um, always be a lot of Hollywood productions. Mm -hmm. But, you know, local uh, movie production can go two ways. Mm -hmm. One is to uh, keep on telling local stories yeah. and probably they'll entertain and attract mm -hmm. local moviegoers. Yeah. That's one thing. But on the other hand, I think, you know, if you um, are really interested in getting into the international distribution mm -hmm. yeah. uh, system, then probably people uh, from Taiwan mm -hmm. will be making movies not only for the local audience, yeah. um, also for Asian or even international audience. Mm -hmm. And that's something uh, local producers and uh, movie makers mm -hmm. should aim for, I think, yeah. in the future. We, as we have seen that uh, some of the local uh, t uh, movie uh, production companies are trying to be internationalized. So when we come back, we will talk about their strategies and whether the government can do something to help our lo uh, local t uh, movie stations or movie uh, companies to be more competitive. Stay with us. We'll be right back.